everybody, I'm Matt Hillier, and you're watching the Texas Music Scene with my buddy Ray Benson. These old bones could talk, they'd say we came from Waco, Texas. It was a different time. You know, Matt Hillier's solo album, If These Old Bones Could Talk, is a really cool collection of straight-ahead country songs from a guy who knows what country music should sound like. We're big fans of the result. He sat down with us recently to discuss the album-making process. Every smoke above and an old dog on the floor A piece of chalk on a black slate tabletop for keeping score stories of the places and the ones they love all the secrets they'd unlock if these old bones could talk I think probably every singer songwriter has it in their mind at some point in time to do some sort of solo record I don't know we're just narcissistic enough <laughs> to try and my grandmother was somebody who always was just saying I, I love Eleanor Springs I really wish you'd make a record with your your name on it and uh, I think that'd be really cool and I said well yeah that's that's cool but yeah you know, I got this band and that's what we do but uh, yeah so when the songs were coming together uh, it just so happened that the timing was was good and the more songs were coming out the more I felt that it, these songs particularly were something of a more personal nature for me and something that I was trying to say independent of the group when my mama used to go to the run-up tree, she had a transistor radio. The bark of the tree had been worn smooth by all the little children's toes. You know, all the guys are really cool about it. They're, they're good with it. They think it's cool. And the time, timing was right, and, and we had a great time recording it uh, with uh, Lloyd down in Dripping Springs. Oh, but I just can't pretend when I look at each day's end again to lose the fight That's why I need to be alone When I reach that crying time of night Eleven Hurt Springs had made a record in 2007 with Lloyd Maines and um, I think everybody who's ever worked with him probably has the same story of how cool he is to work with, how gracious he is, how much he cares about the song itself. It was me who made the promise that I'd always love you, could it be? It was me who lied. So when the opportunity came to make a new record, uh, I jumped at the chance to uh, call Lloyd up and, and, and see if he had the time to make it happen and uh, man we really had a blast just I mean that's the way a, a studio environment is supposed to be totally relaxed and just really great keeping me from saying what I mean to say is that a lot more you is what I'm longing for and every time I get a taste of one more and it's not the same but drinking days on Whiskey and a lot more you A little less whiskey and a lot more you Dancing with the Moon is a, is a different type of tune. It's just more poetry, and I really, it's one of those songs that after writing it, I was really stoked because I'd never done anything like that before, and I felt like it it was, it was worked. But then at the same time, just completely freaked out about the idea of playing it for anyone whatsoever besides my mom, who's a poet, and I knew she'd love it because she, lo you know, your mom's supposed to love everything you do. You make the recording and you don't realize what, how people are going to react to it. You can not know it all, but then you go and you, you try it out live and the reaction has pretty much been hand over fist positive on that song. So I'm uh, really excited about it. And if the music runs out, don't have any doubt, baby, I will sing you a tune that's just right for a night while we're dancing with the moon. I always wanted to have a song that was sort of similar to Happy Trails, but in a snarky kind of way. Uh, it was funny, and that was 
that was where I was coming from with it, and then also just ha giving it this sort of what I wanted to be like a, a like sort of a Beerstein type waltz, you know, and try not to take it so hard where everybody's supposed to sing along, and I think it wound up being more snarky than than I thought it was going to be. And try not to take it so hard. This just wasn't your hand to call. I would like to do another record like that. I'm very proud of it. It's so far people have been receiving it well. And I'm having a lot of fun playing the shows. Uh, still digging on doing 1100 Springs shows, still digging on doing the trio shows. But this is a lot of fun and I hope I get to do more of it as well. May not be instructions that can tell you how to play. But if these old bones could talk, I can tell you what they'd say about old friends, the stories of the places and the ones they love, all the secrets they'd unlock if these old bones could talk. They talk about old friends, the stories of the places and the ones they love, all the secrets they'd unlock if these old bones could talk. These old bones could talk, they'd say we came from Waco, Texas. Though the players may be different, the game remains the same.